Yo, Darius Britt here. We're gonna take a look at the 12 intelligent flight modes. These are the flight modes in the DJI drones. If you don't know your flight modes, then I guess you better pay close attention, fool. Cause once you learn them, you can do some real damage. I'll be using my DJI Phantom 4 Pro Obsidian to do the walkthrough. Without further ado, let's get into it. When we start operating the drone, the default flight mode is normal. This isn't actually an intelligent flight mode, it's just the default mode for operation when you're not in any of the other flight modes. It's also the mode you revert back to when exiting the other flight modes. Draw. In this flight mode, you can draw a flight path on the screen with one of your fingers and the drone will fly along that line. I think this mode is only available in the Phantom 4 Pro and the Phantom 4 Pro Plus. This mode will not work if the camera is pointed straight ahead. You must be pointed toward the ground if you can't draw the cameras pointed too high. We've got two sub modes, forward and free. Smash the go button. With forward selected, you can only look slightly left or slightly right with the camera. You're pretty much limited to facing forward. But with free selected, you can spin the drone around and look wherever you want. There is no obstacle avoidance available in this mode, so you're gonna have to be careful. If we switch from auto to manual, we can manually control the drone. We can increase or decrease the speed of travel, but the drone still stays on course. When the drone reaches its destination, it automatically stops. Booyah. Gesture. This is the official self mode for drone flying. You can take pics without the controller. Hold your arms in the air in the shape of a Y. This will get the drone's attention and it will start tracking you. Make a little cute little box, strike a pose, and boo you. I never use this mode, but I'm sure some peeps probably find it handy. Active track. In this mode, we select a person or object on the screen and the drone will follow that object. Select the subject by drawing a box over them and then you'll see a few sub options appear. We got trace, profile, and spotlight. In trace, the drone will follow the subject in any direction. You can also set the drone in orbit around the subject. The drone will follow the subject without the controller. Now, if you have profile selected, the drone will track along the side of the subject. Even if you change position, the drone will still track you from the side. The Phantom 4 Pro has sensors along the sides of the drone, so it can still detect and avoid obstacles in this mode. The Mavic Pro, however, does not, so be careful. Then we've got Spotlight. The drone stays in one spot and tracks the subject, just like a spotlight. Tap fly. In this mode, you can tap the screen wherever you want the drone to go and it will start flying in that direction automatically. We've got three sub modes, forward, backwards, and free. Let's take a look at forward first. You tap the screen to go. The drone's now gonna fly forward automatically. And now we see a velocity meter appear on the right side and we can adjust the speed with the slider. Wherever we tap on the screen, that's where the drone is gonna go. You'll see a horizon line. If you tap above it, the drone will ascend. If you tap anywhere below that line, the drone will descend. Now if we select backwards, we get the exact same thing, only the drone flies backwards. If we select free, you can tap anywhere on the screen and the drone will fly in that direction, but you're free to move the camera in any direction that you want. I find that tap fly comes most in handy if you're doing tracking type shots. I usually use it in free mode. Note. Anytime you see free as an option in any mode from here until forever, it usually means that you can point the camera wherever you want. We clear on that? Balls. Tripod. Okay, so this is hands down my favorite mode. It is awesome. When you're in tripod mode, it desensitizes all of your controls. The drone movement will be slowed down to a cinematic pace. You get smoother shots. Anybody who's flown a drone, you know the controls can be very sensitive, but in this mode, the controls are way less touchy. I use this mode all the time. Most people do. I think it's probably the most popular flight mode. Terrain follow. In this mode, the drone adjusts its altitude according to the terrain beneath it. Whatever altitude you're at when you enter terrain follow, that's the altitude you set. Now, if you're flying on like a flat 
plane or surface, this mode is not going to do much for you, but it is great for hilly locations. The drone will adjust its altitude automatically, and you can just focus on flying forward. Note. Terrain follow only works going uphill. If the terrain drops, the drone will not decrease in altitude. I never use terrain follow. For one, I just don't have any shooting scenario where this mode would come in handy. And two, the drone gets scary close to hitting something before it adjusts. And I'm always like afraid one of these days it's just gonna like fly smack right into something. Point of interest. In this mode, you can pick a spot and the drone will orbit around that spot. It makes your orbiting shots perfect and effortless. Balls. Hover above whatever you want your point of interest to be and point the camera straight down at it. Next, we select the radius. Back the drone away from the point of interest to increase the radius. You also need to set your return home altitude in case of a disconnection. Pick something high enough to clear any trees. Hit start. A control interface pops up. Get familiar with it. And now the drone will orbit. We can adjust the speed with this slider and we can change the direction of the orbit. We can also pause the orbit. This flight mode is probably the second most popular among them. You can just get some dope shots with it. Follow me. In this mode, the drone follows the pilot from a constant distance. You have to be at a minimum altitude of about 30 feet for this to work though. Once we're in the flight mode, we'd hit apply when we're at the altitude that we want and it's just gonna start following you like a lost puppy. Note. Now watch what happens when I put the controller down. everything stops it just it just stops you have to have the controller in your hand for this mode to work i rarely use this mode i like active track better because i don't have to have controller in my hand yeah waypoints in this mode you get to pick a few points and create a route for your drone if you've picked out and set routes before then you can just pick saved missions and load up previous routes but if not then we can start a new route next we gotta fly around and set some points when you find a spot press c1 on the back of the controller if you do not like a spot and you want to delete it just press c2 each of the points are going to show up on this little map here when you're done we can begin the drone will fly to the first waypoint and booyah and as usual, we can adjust the speed with the slider. Home lock. In this mode, the drone takes a direct path to and from the home point. Select the flight mode, then hit apply. From here, you can either move away from or toward the home point. If you push up on the right stick, the drone will fly away from the home point. And if you push down on the right stick, the drone will move towards the home point. The drone's orientation doesn't matter. Remember, you can reset your home point to wherever you like. It doesn't have to be where the drone launched from. Course lock. Course lock is just like home lock, only you can set the direction that you want your drone to fly along. No matter which way you're facing, forward will be forward. First, you point the drone in the direction that you want your course line to be and then hit apply. This will set a course and your forward and backwards motion will be locked to this course. If you look up to the right, you'll see this little red dot that little dot indicates what is forward for your drone. You can even spin the drone around if you like while you're flying, but the drone stays on course. If you want to reset the course, change the direction the drone is facing, and then press reset direction, and boom, the course line is reset. You'll see that little red dot change again. Well, that's all of the flight modes. We made it. We made it. Now you can get out there and do some real damage. <laughs> In case you were wondering, I used filters from Sandmark on my drone. For most of the day shooting, I was using an ND16, which allows me to knock down some of that intense light and get my shutter speed where I want it. I'm very happy with these filters so far. A big thank you to the guys over at Sandmark for sending them. I will leave links to the drone and the Sandmark filters in the description section. The Phantom 4 Pro Obsidian is basically just a Phantom 4, but you know, gun metal gray, everything else is the same. So you can order a Phantom 4 Pro or a Phantom 4 Pro Obsidian, basically the same drone, just sexier. Well, that's all that I got for you. If you enjoyed what you saw, please like, Oh, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Deeper down. They would make a total of six stops on this traverse, collecting samples from large rocks.